Half-Life Blue Shift was released in 2001 for PC and was originally intended as part of the Dreamcast version of the game. It was developed by Deerbot Software and overseen by Valve and published by Sierra Studios. But sadly, the Dreamcast version was later cancelled, so they ended up continuing to develop it instead for the PC, and it was released as a standalone product. It also included an HD patch for the textures, which had also worked with the original game. But will a shiny new coat of textures be enough to live up to the original game? In Half-Life Blue Shift, you play as Barney Calhoun, just an ordinary dude working his 9-to-5 at the Black Mesa Research Facility, as a simple security guard. Unlike Gordon and Adrian, you aren't some theoretical physicist or marine. You're just a random guy working his day job, and then suddenly shit hits the fan, and you simply need to escape once more from the Black Mesa Research Facility. So let's tip things off with... The Good. Probably the best thing about Half-Life Blue Shift is just that, it's Half-Life. By that I mean the gameplay is still what you know and love if you've played the original game or Opposing Force. The controls are great, and the gunplay all feels very smooth and easy to use. The weapons are varied and all have their specific uses, and the variety of enemies you fight from the aliens and marines are still varied and fun. The game also keeps up the tradition with some great level design and platforming as well, as well as basic puzzle solving to keep things fresh. Half-Life Blue Shift also has a number of nods to the original story of the game, as well as gives you a fresh perspective from the events of Black Mesa. But in the end, it comes nowhere close to the legendary original game, or even opposing force for that matter. So let's discuss... The Bad. Who is responsible for this mess? Don't ask me. Couldn't you be guarding some donuts and coffee right about now? Yes. Probably the biggest issue I have with Half-Life Blue Shift is that this game came out nearly four years after the original game, nearly three years after opposing force, and didn't really add anything remotely new or different from the original game. You get your standard set of weapons, crowbar, pistol, shotgun, rifle, grenades, etc., but that's it. No new alien weapons, no new weapons in general. I had to double check that this game came out in 2001 because I could hardly believe it. You'd think after that span of time they could have done something different with the game. But not only that, the soundtrack in this game is almost non-existent, and even when it does start, it's nothing really special or memorable. You also get to return to Zen once again, and after fighting the military, you get to fight head crabs and Vortigons for 30 minutes. Yay! And of course... Them. But probably my next, and probably my biggest gripe with this game, is the fact it doesn't have any boss fights or giant aliens to fight. You're literally just going from area to area and shooting stuff along the way with some minor platforming and the odd puzzle the entire game. The only closest thing to any kind of a challenge is the bit in its zen where you have to hold out for a small amount of time and shoot some Vortigons and these flying bastards. But worse yet, Blue Shift is extremely short. For me personally, this game clocked in at around 3 hours. So don't expect to spend too much time escaping Black Mesa once again. But no game can escape from... The Ugly. Where I discuss graphics. Now, graphically speaking, Blue Shift's only selling point honestly was the fact that it included an HD texture pack, which also worked with the original game that included better character models and better textures overall, in comparison to Opposing Force in the original 1998 release. Just because Shepard's team didn't make it, we have to do the crap jobs? Well, that's good on But honestly, if you want to play the best looking version of the original game, go play Half-Life Source or the mod Black Mesa Source. 
But other than that, Blue Shift still includes some of the great trademark atmosphere and level design from the original game, and for a 2001 release, still looks pretty damn good. Overall, Half-Life Blue Shift is just simply more of the same. Or in a better word, less. It has less weapons, it has nothing new or interesting to explore, and it's really short. Honestly, if you're looking into getting into the Half-Life series, you can pass on this game and not worry about missing out on anything important. If you wish to see my review for Half-Life and Half-Life Opposing Force, make sure to check out the annotations at the end of the video. Now it's time for my rating. I give Half-Life Blue Shift. This game sucks as much as the ladders do, out of 10.